Happy midweek reversal day. Are we actually going to get our reversal today? That's what we're gonna get into into this video. We're gonna talk about the key levels for Bitcoin right now, what the rest of the market is doing. We're gonna figure out what is actually going on here. So if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Be sure to smash that like button nice and early because it helps me get these videos around the internet. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get into this. If you caught my video yesterday you will know that we were talking about this vector candle right here and that if bitcoin were to make a full recovery of that candle there was potential for the higher low within this channel here to form the signal that we're going to actually break to the upside so let's talk about this because if we zoom in on this candle we can see here that bitcoin did actually spike below we came down to 26600 overnight but it's currently wicking back up so we'll go and have a look at that on smaller time frames in a second but it is a worry that price has now gone below that actual vector so we need to start looking to smaller time frames now to see what's going on if we get a daily close below that candle then it's possible the price is going to continue down for some of these lower liquidation levels and even potentially the 25 400 three month high liquidation level that we have been eyeing off for a while in addition to that actually if price were to come all the way down to the 25 400 the elliott wave would still be in play here because if price came all the way back to 25.4, it would be a retest of this previous high. So it would actually still fall in line with the Elliott Wave rules as well, just a side note. So it's not too bad if we do come all the way back down there. But what we need to see is, are we going to get our higher low here first? Or are we going to have that full retracement? Now, if we look at the four hour, we can see that this red vector right here has wicked into this four hour vector candle here. But the shift out on the next candle still has 20 seven minutes to go it's really not done much in comparison so when we do have a spike into an area if that's the final damage for the market maker I really do like to see a strong bounce out of it so that's not that promising on the four hour on the one hour here we can also see that price has spiked into these vector candle zones over here and we do have currently trading light orders at 26600 now here's the thing I want to talk about with trading light because it's only 1k orders at 26.6 and have a look here what happened overnight when we look left on these four hour candles see how that red area is showing 1.2 1.3 and then it grew to 1.7 so the buyers were actually growing at that 26.800 level and then it eased off so some of them may have got picked up because there was a few five minute wicks into that zone but it was still sitting at 1.1k when eventually this candle right here just ate right through them so it goes to show like the lower that price is the higher these numbers need to be in order to expect a bounce because of the math so 1.1k is 1100 bitcoin worth of orders so then you calculate the price of bitcoin times 1100 and that's your dollar figure of how much money is actually sitting there waiting to buy so at that level there that is 29 million four hundred and eighty thousand us dollars worth of orders waiting to buy there that just got absolutely wiped out as price came down so when i see this now here it's only 1k at 26.6 with that being a low Lower price if that were going to be a strong enough level to cause a bounce you would expect it to be higher than the 1.1k because the Bitcoin price is cheaper hopefully that makes sense in addition to that it does also depend on how many orders are in the book either side buys and sells because it could be a situation here that there just were a hell of a lot more market sellers by the time price got there than there were limit buyers so it's a hard one to kind of judge but it's just interesting to me to note that you know that was a very very significant level for a number of hours because these are four hour candles so that's a 16 hour period that people were waiting to buy bitcoin around 26 800 and eventually the u.s session just took it out i think it was u.s so these ones here don't feel as significant however we may be at a point that the damage is done so it may just be a different scenario and the reason that i say that is because right here we have the m formation at 
at the start of the week, that's your drop level one right there. This here is drop level two and this here is drop level three. So unless this feeds up into a higher time frame situation, the damage may have already been done, which means that the 26.6 buy level will hold. There's just not enough structure to really decide that right now. And I'll show you why, because if we go down to the 15 minute time frame, we can see we do have a stopping volume candle here, which is promising, but so far we haven't even formed the inside left side of a W formation yet. So that's why we need more structure to decide if this level is going to hold. If price were to finish this move, say maybe come up, take out this liquidation level would also be the 50 EMA, then come back, give us a higher low and then shift out. That would be the kind of structure around here that would make you believe this move to the downside is over. So that's what I'd be watching for from here. But right now you can't say that that is going to happen because enough candles just haven't formed yet. So ideally what you're looking for is to see if price comes back to this area here, because now we know that this is where the traders are trapped, right? In this stopping volume candle right here. If price comes back into that zone, it can wick into there, but we don't want to start seeing full bodied candles close below the body of this candle. So if price comes back into here and starts giving you hammers, railroad tracks, you know, bullish candlestick formations, then it's going to start to look like this W and that's what will give you the clarity and the confidence that we have a midweek reversal and we're probably going to go to the upside. But until you get that, whilst price is under the 50 EMA, you remain bearish. So you wouldn't be longing in this area just here just yet. We've got to see what happens if we come back into this zone and decide from there. Before we move on to other things, this is just a reminder that OKX Summer Trading Competition is now live. You can still register. The link to do that is in the description of this video. And if you follow those details, you will get an email from us inviting you to join our private discord channel for this competition it is completely free this is a solo competition and there is up to 250,000 usdt prize pool so in order to be part of that all you've got to do is click the link in the description of this video and then check your email for further details now it's usually news events that give us the midweek reversal so let's see what we've got going on these again just a reminder these are in dubai time so you'll need to convert this to your own time zone. We really only worry about the US news. So today at 4.15, we've got ADP non-farm employment change. We've got unemployment claims and ISM manufacturing PMI at 6 p.m. So this is going to be the one to watch. Well, all of them are the one to watch, but this one is probably more the more significant of all of them. So expect volatility between 4 to 6 p.m. today. And just a reminder, you can go to this website, forexfactory.com forward slash calendar you just click on this time up here and you can actually change this to your own time zone. So that means that that volatility is going to come in towards the end of UK session into the beginning of the US session, which is kind of good if we do get that volatility over the session changeover, then it could mean that this W is actually forming, this side of it is forming in Asia. UK give, runs the trend to the downside, which that's UK's job is to run a slow trend. So if it runs the slow trend to the downside, then somewhere around the beginning of US, we get that higher low if we're lucky. And US's job is to either continue the trend of UK depending on the targets or reverse it. And so that could actually end up happening today. So that's what I would watch out for. I don't think there's a move to make unless you get that W formation. And I also personally wouldn't really short from here because if we zoom out on the level, you're in danger of literally shorting at level three, which is where the traps all happen. So that means it's either looking for a reversal to long this or sitting out for now until it breaks a new level. And we're sure that we have a market reset, which we're not sure of that right now. Now let's look at the other markets because this was all basically happening because of Dixie. So Dixie is coming up to a really key level right now at this 104 kind of level here. It's been there before a number of times. It just continues to make higher highs and higher lows. So until we get a market structure change, we have to be very, very careful here. This candle right here is forming its speed. So again, be very, very careful about trying to jump into longs too early on Bitcoin. Ideally, you want to see this start to come down at the same time you see a W starting to form on Bitcoin. Looking at Ethereum, so Ethereum's 
same price action when you zoom out. But when we look at ETH on the daily, have a look at this. It's come up to this vector candle here, this daily vector here. It actually broke out of the wedge. So it gave us the W right here, gave us this W. It broke out and it's now in the phase of retesting the daily 50 EMA, which you can see right there. So this is where we want to start going to the smaller time frames to see if there is a potential retest entry because at this point in time, it hasn't done a full closure of this daily vector candle right here. So let's look at the four hour for ETH. And this has wicked into this four hour vector candle. One hour time frame, we have an M formation here, spike high, retrace, lower high, drop into a board meeting, a little bit of a stop hunt in that board meeting before a further drop. So this actually looks like it hasn't finished yet according to the one hour time frame. It does look like there's potentially one more drop to go on ETH. If we have a look at the 15 minute, let's see if it's played out there. Yeah, so on the 15 minute, we have the M here. We have the drop here, retrace, drop through here, retrace, drop. So on the 15 minute it has, and we've had a very, we've got a very big vector candle right here on Ethereum. This is actually looking like a, this was a trapping volume formation. So it might actually not come back for the second side of a W. We have a look on the five minute time frame for this one. Yeah, see how price here, after it spiked low and trapped traders, it just held in a sideways range there. That's called a trapping volume formation. So if this breaks out now, which, well, this has broken out, but if this now changes structure and gives us the higher low, then you would expect the move to the downside for ETH is over and we're going up for here. But you really wanna see it get out of this box zone now if that were going to happen. I don't like that it broke the 50 EMA and it's come back below it. That's not good. So not a trigger yet. But uh, I definitely would like to see it next get out of the 50 EMA and hold above it or even just change the structure, give us a higher low, then break out of it. Then you'd feel more confident that the low is in for Ethereum and that we're going to have a midweek reversal on ETH as well. So again, just to identify the trapped traders for ETH are in this stopping volume candle right here, which at this point in time, they have not come back for them. So as long as they keep those traders trapped, we could expect a reversal. But if we start eating back into this zone and again, closing below, especially the candle closes of the trap, reset, sit out and wait. Again, also would not open a new short on this, would just wait for it to finish its final damage and then take it from there. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, please be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed, leave me a comment below and I will see you on the next one.